Hello YouTubers. Decided to film some drone footage of the Salisbury Viaduct, part of the current Allegheny Passage Hiking and Biking Trail. Besides flying drones, I enjoy riding bicycles and railroad history, so this was a great excuse to combine all three. As you can see, the night before I did the drone footage there in the earlier video, the water's muddy. We had storms, real heavy rain, a little over an inch, but the next day turned out to be just beautiful there. Uh, the video taken on the west side, which is the first part here I'm filming there, I was flying a Bugs 3 drone there. And the camera I was using there was a Cross Tour CT 9000 action cam there. Just a cheap action camera, but not bad there. Uh, the day, like I say, was picture perfect here I was filming this. And you can see in the background some of our local windmill farms. And also the Castleman River. They're muddy from the rain the night before. And U.S. Route 219. And also the current CSX Railroad there runs down beside the Castleman River there. Yeah, I have just recently passed my Part 107 UAS Remote Pilot Exam, and I'm hoping to get some practice flying and posting YouTube videos and hopefully make some money at my hobby. Yeah, pardon the quality of the video if it's not as good as others, but again, I'm working on a limited budget and do not have the most expensive, greatest equipment, but for the time being, it serves my needs. As for a little history on the Salisbury Viaduct, it's located in Somerset County, Pennsylvania, and for those that want to pinpoint it with the GPS coordinates on Google Maps there, it is 39 degrees, 50 minutes, 3 seconds latitude, and 79 degrees, 2 minutes, 39 seconds longitude. And there in the picture, there's your remote pilot in command there standing on the bridge. Like I say, it was real windy the day I was shooting this, and again, I was flying the Bucks 3, no auto hover, no GPS, just like I say, basically manning drone there, so to speak, there. If the Viaduct was part of the Western Maryland Railroad, and it was built in 1912, you can see a nice shot down the side of it there, like I say, and again, the <laughs> mucky water from the rain the night before. Uh, the last train to use it was in 1975, and it sat unused there until in the 90s when uh, that became part of the Great Allegheny Passage, Allegheny Hiking and Biking Trail there. That could say it was around 97. They tore the ties up, poured the concrete there that you see, put the railing up, and like I say, got it ready for use. It was the summer of 1999 when it was ready to use, like I say, for the trail there. Like I say, it's a shame the train's no longer on it, but it's good as at least was repurposed into a, like I say, nice thing. It would have been great to have been around in the day to have watched trains, as particularly the steam come across this. But that was, like I say, the last train period was in 75. I was born in 74, so I don't even remember the last diesel locomotive that run over it. I heard my dad talking about it a lot. And like he said, the Western Maryland was a better railroad in a sense, and right here is a great example. It built a lot of bridges and that to get over water, but on the downside, it was a lot of maintenance and upkeep also. But like I say, that's something there. When flooding situations and that, the current CSX rail, X Railroad, well, the railroad floods, and it sort of is a plus that the Western Maryland did have a good idea on that. Now, right now, here we're taping on the east side of the bridge there. You can see it in the distance. This was taken about on June 25th, and the earlier part of this was taken on June 30th. Both of them were picture-perfect days. There's one of the nice 
freshly plowed fields. I assume corn, not sure. Like I say, can not it up far enough yet to tell. And you can see the US Route 219 and the facing there. Right now the drone's taking a picture facing north on it. That's newly opened four lane section that was just opened last fall. Yeah, in the video description I'm going to include links there to the Great Allegheny Passage and some history on the Western Maryland Railroad and the Salisbury Viaduct. If you're interested you can be sure to check them out. Now in these videos I am flying a Holy Stone HS700. Now this drone does have GPS and auto hover. It was just as windy this day as the earlier video, but the auto hover and the GPS does seem to be compensating for it, making it a little bit more stable there in the flying. As you can tell, like I say, and nice still shot there. And again, those clouds in that, both these days, it just was marvelous there. You couldn't have asked for anything nicer. There you can see a car on the old 219 going there that is heading south in towards the town of Marisdale. The bridge is located between the town of Garrett, Pennsylvania and Marsdale, Pennsylvania, sort of right in between the two of them there. It's north of Garrett and it's uh, south of Marsdale. Like I say, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and like I say, please subscribe. If you have any ideas or feedback, please include them in the comments below. I hope I didn't bore you too much here with the little documentary on this, and again, thank you for watching. And on that, we're going to close here and let the last few seconds here enjoy the last of the footage. Thank you again. Subscribe.